when I tell Larry he'll faint. Don't be silly. Times like these, men become very strong. You really think so? I know it. Then you probably hit me. <laughs> Weeze. And I just can't wait to see the look on Darren's face when I tell him. <laughs> Why, that lucky son of a gun. <laughs> Oh, hi, Larry. How'd it go? <laughs> Larry, you all right? <laughs> well, what's the matter? They give you laughing gas or something? Darren Stevens, you are one lucky son of a gun. What are you talking about? Who do you think I saw when I came out of the dentist's office? Hmm? I don't know. Who? Guess. I don't know. Samantha. Samantha? What was she doing at the medical center? I didn't talk to her. She didn't see me. Oh? Know where she went? No. Guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't suppose I really ought to tell you. Certainly you ought to tell me. All right. Sit down. I don't want to sit down. <laughs> you lucky son of a gun. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, OK, OK. Don't sit down. But if you fall down, don't blame me, Papa. <laughs> what did you say? You heard me. Papa. Larry, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I saw her go into Dr. Brycey's office. Hmm? Dr. Brycey, the obstetrician. It's <laughs> incredible. Louise was with her, and I heard them talking. Samantha said she couldn't wait to see the look on your face when she told you. It's incredible. I'll call her. No, 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 don't, don't do that. This is probably the most important moment in a woman's life. Let her give you the news in her own way. You're right. I won't say a word. I'll let her tell me when she wants to tell me. I'll just call her now in case she wants to tell me now. Take it easy, will you, Darren? She hasn't had a chance to get home yet. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Mrs. Stevens is calling. Remember, not one word. You lucky son of a gun. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Well, I'm fine. I'm just fine. She's fine. <laughs> Where are you, darling? I, uh, I'm in town shopping. And I ran into Louise Tate. Oh, that's wonderful, sweetheart. Yes, isn't that nice? And we thought it might be a good idea if you brought Larry home and the four of us could have dinner together. Larry's there with him. All right, sweetheart. Yes, we'll see you at home. Hmm? Oh, Larry wants to talk to you. What did I say to him? Oh, for heaven's sakes, Louise, you've been married to him for 16 years. <laughs> Hello, Larry? Yes, dear. Oh, certainly, dear. Goodbye, dear. Darren thought dinner was an excellent idea, as long as I didn't stand with my feet too long. <laughs> I tell you, that husband of mine is one kind and considerate man. Seems like I've got a pretty kind and considerate husband myself. Oh? What'd he say? He told me to cook the dinner. He doesn't want you to stand on your feet too long, either. <laughs> It'll be great for you. The best thing that ever happened. It's going to be wonderful. Oh, children are marvelous when you're young. Of course, when you get old and tired and impatient, that's a different story. That doesn't sound like you, Larry. It isn't me. I meant Louise. <laughs> Well, Lucky, what do you think it'll be? Well, I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, it'll be either a boy or a girl. I certainly hope so. Well, I'll see you around 7. We'll head for home, Papa. <laughs>